Welcome back to Boss Labs. My name is Chu Gutierrez, and today we're going to be doing something really simple in Premiere Pro, and that is creating scrolling text. So you used to be able to do this through some other means that are really complicated, but you don't have to worry about that anymore. This isn't anything new per se. It's just something that I use on the occasional basis. And there's one thing about it that I tend to forget. So I'm actually kind of just creating this video so that I can reference it in case I ever just can't remember. But I'm pretty sure after making this video, I won't forget again. So anyway, we have our timeline here. There's nothing on it. So we're simply going to press T for text right here or press the letter T, right? So if we were on the keyboard, we press T and then we can start writing text. We can click on here and start writing whatever we want to make this easy, because sometimes you use scrolling text for things like credits. I went to a name generator on the internet, just makes a random list of names for you. You copy and paste it and there we have it, right? So as you can see over here in our essential graphics panel, you can see that we can modify our font, our size, fill, drop shadow, things like that. But you don't see the option to set a role. So what you do is you just really click out of it. And then all of a sudden here, you can see this little box that says role. That's literally all we need to do. We click on that and all of a sudden we click play and our text is rolling, scrolling through the screen like you would for credits. Now, as you can see, it's going really, really, really fast. So to help that, all you have to do is extend the clip like you would any other clip, a video clip, audio clip, just click and extend. The longer you extend it, the slower the text will go. You have a couple options here. You can have it start off screen. So if it starts from zero, you're going to be no text and then slowly going to move up to where you start seeing it. Um, you can turn that off and the text will automatically be on screen from where you had it. Usually use it on when I'm using it. So you can have pre-roll, post-roll, which is basically just some space between, I would say before. So if you do like two seconds of pre-roll, you'll just see that when I click play, you won't see anything for the first two seconds and then it starts coming in. So that's pretty simple. Yeah, you can have it ease in and ease out, which just means it's going to come, come in a little slow and then get up to speed. Same thing as it's leaving. So yeah, very simple. But one of the things that would get me is I would constantly click on this to edit my text and I couldn't find the roll button when I was first just starting to learn this new way because you used to have to go through something now called a legacy text generator. And that thing was just a pain in the ass, especially creating roll text like this. So this is very simple, very easy. So if you're getting into Premiere and you need to create some credits, this is the way to do it. Um, and yeah, basically that's as simple as it gets. Um, very useful, very easy to modify, to edit, and very easy to control. Unlike previous versions many years ago. Anyways, I hope this helps. And if you have any comments or questions, please leave that down in the comment section below and we will see you next time. Thanks.